It is Friday, another week has gone by, the second week of the spring semester. And it was a great week, it was a week of labs and a testing week as well. So my 8 a classes, they did a lab that my B-Day students did last week, last Friday. And it was just um, a double replacement reaction, which we're going to get into that a little bit later. And so they did the lab on Monday. Basically what you're going to do, starting from the top, says for each reaction, please only add two drops of the chemical solutions to a single spot in the well plate. So for example, you would add two of Ki here, two of AgNO3 here, two of Ki here, two of PbNO3, two here, so on and so forth. The order that you do it in is up to you and your partner. You can go across, or you can go down, it's up to you. Um, there will be four of you at a table, but you're gonna work in pairs, and you're just gonna share everything in the red um, tray. So don't like hog it on one side. Make sure it's in the middle so that way both pairs can grab. If a reaction occurs, what you're going to do is you're going to write the form of a precipitate. Does anybody remember what a precipitate is? Yes, so like a solid form, it's insoluble solid. And so if a reaction occurs, so for example, this is not the answer. If I mix these two and I get a yellow precipitate, I'm just going to write yellow PPT. And PPT is short for precipitate. If no reaction occurs after I take the two solutions and mix them, I'm just going to write no RxN, which stands for reaction. Um, no chemicals down the sink. You're done. There are four of these beakers in the middle table. This is the waste beaker. There's going to be a beaker of water with pipettes. All you do is grab some water without putting the pipette into the well plate. You're just going to rinse as best as you can. Any questions? Make sure your goggles are on at all times. Um, I don't care who you work with, where you work at, but this should not take more than 20 minutes. So there you go. And it's okay if it's thick. It's not brown. It's not dark green. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, my classes, we did a single replacement reaction lab, so that's why it's all messy um, here. Well, now you just have to wait. Or get a paper towel and break them. You have gloves on. No, I had spilled the acid. So the timers up there are the clocks on the screen, so you have to record five minutes. I don't know why I'm recording myself doing this, but... And then remember to like to flip it and do the front or both sides of the magnesium. We're gonna go over this. Your friends. So we are going to. We are gonna move on. <laughs> At the very top, we're gonna write single. That's why he's minded because he remembers replacement <laughs> reaction. <laughs> Single replacement reaction at the very top. So all these, um, we're gonna move into different types of reactions. One of the re reaction types is called a single replacement reaction. A is by itself, B is with C. And so this is kind of similar to what I see going out there in the courtyards, with relationships. Um, A comes in and swoops in and breaks up the relationship. So now A, 
and C are together, and poor little B is by itself. Single replacement reaction. So someone came in and you can't trust these elements, no. So it's been a great week. My students took a test yesterday, Thursday, and then today, and surprisingly, many of my students did pretty well. It was over um, nomenclature, writing formulas for ionic covalent acids and bases, naming acids, bases, covalent and ionic compounds. It was a 60 question test because 24 questions were over naming, 24 questions were over writing formulas. There were six questions over um, drawing dot, the dot structures, electron dot structures for ionic and covalent. And there were six questions over molecular geometries. But school is almost over, it's 8 a fourth period. I'm going to wrap up some stuff here um, and then call it a day and call it a week. There's no school on Monday and actually next week's a little bit weird because me, the other pre-AP chemistry teacher, we're going to a training here on campus for ESL, English as a Second Language. And we're gonna school, there's no school Monday. We will be out Tuesday through Thursday. So I will only see one of my classes next week, my 8 a class. So um, I shot some videos so that way we can leave with the sub and the students can watch it and they can still get the lesson. But yeah, I'm gonna grab some stuff, take care of things around here and then I'm gonna call it a day. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.